back by popular demand. Episode 3 of one of my most watched series. That's right, it's time for episode 3 of What's in the Box from Japan. Uh, as with the other two, as you can see, I've got a box that I ordered from Japan, uh, Hobby Link Japan, specifically, as that's the site I usually use. Um, and yeah, I just kind of opened it up and show you guys what I've been buying recently. Um, it's not really a series that has much depth, but you know, I mean, it was either this or I make a thumbnail of myself kind of looking really shocked and the title would be like, they put what in my order? Um, but you know, I don't, I don't really want to uh, go down that path. So yeah, I'm just going to crack this open, show you guys what I bought. The video will end and uh, we'll both walk away pretending that we didn't just waste uh, each other's time. So, without further ado, let's crack this baby open. And the box, not, not the knife. The knife's already open. Alright then, it's open. Uh, as you can see, this is actually quite a large box, because I've ordered quite a few different things. Now, part of the reason that I uh, ordered this was because Hobby Link Japan were doing a um, deal that if you bought some Gunpla kits, which are the uh, plastic Gundam model kits, each one you bought you'd get a, um, a random weapon, uh, or two random weapons with each one. So, I'm gonna... Ooh! Okay. So these actually seem to be the weapons. Um, I'm just gonna open this up for a second, really, and have a look. Alright, so I've opened them up. Uh, we do indeed have six different ones, so we'll start off with the coolest one, which is the uh, Twin Heat Saber and Joint Parts. Now these are all related to um, Build Divers, which is the newest uh, Gundam series. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I have watched both seasons of uh, Gundam Build Fighter and Build Fighters Try. So uh, looking forward to Build Divers, I, I quite like the concept of the whole MMO thing. Uh, we have beam rifle and joint parts. Uh, we have a beam gatling gun and joint parts. Uh, as you can tell, all of these come with joint parts. We got another gatling gun. Okay, so we do have a double. Uh, we have a bazooka and gatling gun. Uh, that's a pretty cool piece. And obviously, you can panel line these to make them look a bit better. And we have another beam bazooka, uh, but that's different actually from that one. I think is it. No, I'm wrong. Uh, wait, yeah, I am. I am wrong. Uh, sorry, I'm wrong in that they're the same, because they are very obviously different. Okay, that's really cool. Um, you know, admittedly, I, it just gave me an excuse, really. I didn't actually order a ton of gunpla just for this, but you got two weapons with each order. Uh, and as you can see here, I've got six, so that should mean I have three orders. Unless they've really messed it up. I can actually feel one of them, so let's grab this one. Uh, and we will begin with the... Okay, so this is the Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. Now, I'll level with you guys. I've not watched Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Uh, I, I keep meaning to and stuff, but I am actually going through Gundam at the moment. Uh, however, this design... I don't know, I just like, I really, really like it. The whole, um, I don't know, the whole clothes thing and the slightly feral looking uh, suit. Just, I don't know, I really, really like it, actually. Uh, and I realised that made me sound like a raging furry. Um, for, for the record, I'm not a furry. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't quite have the uh, yiff in hell kind of uh, view on them that some do, but you know, I'm, I'm just not into it. But anyway, that is that is a cool looking uh, thing. I I guess that's one of the guys from Iron Blooded Orphans. Orphans. I keep saying Orphans. Uh, also, it's written in Katakana, which is interesting because usually the suits are always written in English uh, on the front. Anyway, this is a high grade. They're all high grades. Oh, let's grab the second one, shall we? Okay, maybe not. Hey, there we go. The second Gunpla is the RX uh, 178 Gundam Mark II. This is the Titans version, so um, if you've seen Gundam Zeta, right at the start, uh, they kind of 
don't show them lo you know uh, longer than the first like three episodes but the start of Zeta they've got the RX 78 basically in black or the RX 178 uh, rather but yeah it's basically it's kind of a modified version of the RX 78 but it's darker um, and I think really cool looking so I've got an RX 78 so I hope to display that next to it and the third third one from the bottom ugh, is the uh, Kamiki Burning Gundam so this is from Build Fighters Tri and this is Sakai Kamiki's uh, mobile suit now it does have a samurai sword which uh, I don't think he used very much really because the whole point of uh, Kamiki's uh, suit was that he fought like hand to hand or whatever but anyway I really really like this uh, the suit like the red and stuff looks really cool there are effect parts um i don't think this comes with any of them but you know it's a really cool design i, I like it it's uh yeah so those are my three gunpla that i've bought no doubt they will stay in my backlog for about a year and a half till i eventually get around to them so next thing up let's grab in oh i think i know what that is I'll grab this first. We have the Moncole EX uh, Pokemon figure, and this is Nihilego. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. It's the weird squid thing that uh, Lusamine really likes, uh, and also <laughs> looks a lot like Lily, which is part of the reason I got it because I have the Nendroid Lily. So yeah, I'll open it up. I may do a very quick video on the Moncole figures. Uh, actually, I'll angle this down a bit and am i zoomed in no i'm not okay well there we are let's grab the other mon thing while i'm at it this this is a set oh boy oh are we ready this is ditto and pikachu ditto and ah oh, i'm i'm so happy they made this this is like i'm a sucker for ditto versions of pokemon and i know i know it's incredibly simple you just wipe out his face and put little dots and a, you know like a pl plain expression on the mouth but there's something adorable about that, about that Pikachu uh, and also Ditto I don't actually have a Ditto figure so I've been meaning to get one but once I saw they announced this I I had to order it so I think these are both new Mon Cole figures I could be wrong I feel like that came out really recently and I don't know about that one so we got two more items left. I shall grab one of them. And that is one of my favourite boys. It is Whooper time. Uh, actually, you know, I'll free him from this bag because this isn't a particularly uh, special bag. This has been a plush I have wanted for many years. Uh, ever since gold and silver came out actually oh it's got a bit of a beanbag thing that's really cool so i might have to bend his things but he is indeed based on an axolotl the very best aquatic animal uh, and this indeed says pocket monsters Whoopa s for small uh, or Whoopa, as we call it over here uh, actually yeah that's a point so it's Whoopa over there very very you know interesting uh but yeah that's really nice i kind of wish these were a little um heavier maybe because they're quite thin but you know overall whooper is arguably one of the cutest pokemon it's the happiest thing without arms and finally um and the reason i've kept this finally actually i'm going to move everything from the back room brb right i'm back uh i so, as I was saying, the reason I kept this thing to last is it's the most expensive item on my list. And actually, technically, the only reason I ordered from there uh, is because I knew the pre-order was coming up. Uh, for those of you who collect Figmas, you may already know. But that item is... A blank white box. No, you can maybe make it out from there, actually. But uh, I don't know why they pack it like this I guess is to make sure like the plastic doesn't get marked or whatever but it is Figma Genji and I'm not in enough okay whatever anyway uh yeah so if you've ever played Overwatch you probably know who this dude is 
He is the ninja with the most, the one that constantly needs healing, the edgiest of the Yamada brothers, Genji Yamada. Uh, and yeah, so honestly, like Overwatch is a really, really fun game. I very, I have spent quite a long time uh, in it, although I very rarely play Genji. However, his design, uh, which unfortunately you can't actually make the figure out particularly well uh, on here because of all the shininess and the light. But this guy, once I saw they made a figma of him, like, I had to. I didn't buy the Tracer one, I didn't get the Widowmaker one, because their designs are... They're alright, you know? I did pre-order Reaper, though, when they announced uh, Figma Reaper. I pre-ordered it day one, because I just... I don't know, there's something about masks and hoods that's like... That's that, that's my thing. Uh, and yes, that is also why I really like Kalman Rider, although I've barely watched any. Uh, so yeah, he's, you know, very articulate. He comes with his sword. He's just a very cool figure overall. Honestly, you know, even if even if you hate Overwatch, uh, I know I completely understand why you would. This is just this is just a generally awesome looking figure. Like, I'm really excited to crack him open. Um, if you do want to see some pictures of him, uh, you know, apart from all the really professional ones out there, I have got a link to my Instagram in the uh, description below. All of my pictures on there are of figures and stuff, so uh, I'll probably be showing this guy off for quite a few weeks to come, because uh, I've been quite excited for him, especially because all the figmas come with those uh, bases things. Uh, which means that, you know, because they're quite light, you can ha pause them in the air. Which means I can have him wall running and stuff. I'm really excited for the potential. So, yeah, that about wraps it up, honestly. Uh, you know, all, all of the items I got, I'm incredibly excited for. These are definitely, like, the highlights, the ones I've most been looking forward to. And that is uh, the Pikachu and Ditto, the Wooper Plush, and Genji. Of course, I'm going to be building these over the next couple months, and Nihil Ego, because, you know, I've got to complete my Splatoon collection, so this is the best way to do it. So, if you did sit through all of this, like, man, well done, how are you doing? Um, it's been a while, you know, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section below, I will reply to you. Um, let me know what your favourite Overwatch character is, and you will be entered into a giveaway! No, you won't. I'm not giving any of this stuff away, or in fact, any of my stuff away, because I want to keep my stuff. 